Hey folks, time for another unboxing video. This time around, for Wrestle Trader. And it has the, we don't have hashtag. But you can go, if you like what you see here, you can go to ProWrestlingCrate.com and order your own. Follow the hashtag PWCrate if you want to see other people's unboxing videos. Meanwhile, I'll get uh, down to the nitty gritty of my unboxing video. And uh, as usual, this will be probably one of the longer ones because it's So, here we go. First thing I wanted to look at anyway. So, spoiler alert, the other side of this card contains the contents of this crate. Next month's theme is Wrestlers with Podcasts. So this month is, for the love of hearts, it's Valentine's Day. So. First off, we have... A Hitman Retro Bret Hart t-shirt. And just because I'm paranoid... Yes, double XL. Just because I'm paranoid. Let's have another look. Anyway. And. All Heart. Johnny Gargano. Johnny Wrestling. Okay. And. It says All Heart. It says All Heart. Uh, he's beating the heart out of some. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I really don't know what's going on with it. What can anyone can explain what's going on with it? Besides he's hitting something with the steel chair. Anyway, um we have a one of the half the golden lovers, a Kota Ibushi. Micro baller action figure. And uh these used to be over, brother love fanny pack. I don't know what use I'm going to get out of it. I may just put it on my on my uh, shopping cart. Because, well, I don't really have use for it. It's not against it. It's just, you know, I don't have much of a use for fanny pack. It would be quite the nice thing to... I mean, I got a bag like it already. I got one of those uh, single shoulder strap bags. That was like a promotional thing for some... Can't see it from here. Anyway, it's over there. My shopping cart. So I guess I'll probably do something similar with this. I'll see. Like... How big and how small I can adjust this, and then I'll plan accordingly. Uh, a Mouth of the South Jimmy Hart shoot interview DVD. Let's not get it lit. I'm trying to get it lit up properly without actually uh, without getting too much glare on it. A Dude Love exclusive collector's pin. Rest is just one. Usually just one. Seems to be only one autographed eight by ten this time around. Is it usually one or just two? I mean, not complaining. So of course, for Valentine's Day, Greg the Hammer Valentine autographed eight by ten. Because what does any red-blooded heterosexual male wrestling fan want than a shirtless picture? of Greg the Hammer Valentine from the 80s, when he also wasn't necessarily in the best shape of any of that. Better than a picture of him now, I guess. Nothing personal to the uh, WWE Hall of Fame. But, uh, usually, as with many wrestling fans, I'm, the, I'm, one, I'm one of those guys who puts up the uh, Happy Valentine's Day thing on, uh, as my cover photo on, on uh, Facebook, and it's Greg Hammer Valentine. I wouldn't see. And of course, there's a $10 off your next order for ProWrestlingTees.com. Is it supposed to be like an actual coupon or something? All wrestlers or their families work with Pro Wrestling Tees and receive royalties from use uh, using their likeness. So just in case you wondered how it works. Just in case you wondered, like someone I uh, had a conversation with however many months ago it was. Like, I don't know how they can... Yeah, for the, the BWO. I wore B, the, the BWO bandana that they put in the crate five or six months now, now at least. And uh, he, he said, I don't know how they can do that because WWE owns the copyright to the Blue World Order. And I said, do they? Because, you know, you keep hearing them every couple of months. They they renew a, a, um, they renew a, a copyright on something that you 
probably just assume they already had copyrights there, or they're registering a copyright rather than something they got there and has a copyright on it. Like when they did the, um, what are they doing with the uh, Nia Jax now? The Immovable Force, or on, uh, whichever one they used reference to Andre the Giant before. So they registered that however many months ago, and again, they're still using it for Nia Jax. So it's just assumed either they already had it copyrighted or they whatever way couldn't copyright it. So, it's, uh, yeah, so it's a good one. Um, not in time for Valentine's Day, obviously, but I don't think it was really intended to be. But, oh, I can't, oh, I was going to open this with my Valentine. But, well, I kind of just did, I guess. Anyway, so, yeah, many of us have the same Valentine. And it shows. Anyway, so, um, that's it, I guess. Um, oddly enough, I think this might be the, depending on what I end up doing, it, with, doing with it, and I'm sure it'll be quite the conversation piece. I'm not going to wear it as a fanny pack, but like I said, I'm probably going to add it to my, uh, my shopping cart. Or what I used to do, I had another fanny pack. It was like a lime green one. It was in, I, don't think, I think it was like a dollar store one or something. I just wanted a fanny pack, or I got it somewhere really cheap where someone gave it to me or something. And I had it pinned to one of my knapsacks. Because the knapsack, had, it was one of those green khaki generic sort of knapsacks. Looks military kind of, but not really. It's just you know, with, the, with the drawstring on it and the, and the flap with the leather strap coming off. It. And the blue pockets had little shorter leather straps. I'm sure it's either helping or not. But anyway, I had one of those knapsacks and I had the fanny pack wrapped around that and pinned on. Like I had like big pins, like big decorated you know, collector's pins kind of thing. They use uh, sewing pins as well, not sewing, but the baby pins to hold it on as well. So, and I liked it. Whether well, anyone else liked it is secondary, but anyway, so I might if I'm so inclined because I'm using the edge. So it's there underneath my shirt. Anyway, it's a uh, it's an edge knapsack from like the mid 2000s. So it's got, I think that's the original one. Before Rated R Superstar, like, but just as he was getting to be the Rated R Superstar, it was the logo before that. Because I wanted to get the t-shirt for Rated R Superstar, but, uh, anyway, it didn't happen. But. At any rate, uh, enough of that. Uh, so, that's this month's Pro Wrestling Crate. We'll see you next month for... Oh, and this month's charity, by the way, was the Owen Hart Foundation. And next month is Wrestlers with Podcasts. So... Paul Cabana, Steve Austin, once again, something to wrestle with, with Bruce Pritchard. Uh, other people got podcasts. I got a podcast. I used to be a wrestling manager. I don't have any managers. Did, I, did he wrestle? Bruce Pritchard wrestle? He was a manager. Of course, he was brother love. Uh, Tom Pritchard wrestled. I don't know if he did. I'm sure there's any, I'm sure there's bunch of other people who you can, who you, you're screaming at the video right now saying, this person and this person and this person. I'm pretty sure at least one female wrestler has a, has a podcast as well. If, like, if it's not clicking. The, the, I think the hamster's dead. So, um, I'm just gonna turn off the video before I get myself too badly into the, down to the bedrock. So, later day.